and Brock the Hawa, Brockata, Yahusha, Brock the Hawa, Brockata, Yahusha, Basha, and Rakakwadash, the honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Bad Times. Lord, will you are edified? My source, the center square. Article entitled Majority of Americans Say. They are falling behind rising cost of living, published 14 hours ago. The majority of Americans feel they cannot keep up with the cost of living as inflation and the price of goods continue to rise, according to new polling data. A poll from NBC News asked Americans, do you think that your family's income is going up faster than the cost of living? Staying about even with the cost of living or falling behind the cost of living? In response, 65% said they are falling behind and 28% said they are staying about even with the cost of living. Only 6% said their income is going up faster than the cost of living. <clears throat> Joel 5 and 12, he disappoint the devices of the crafty. And this is a device of the crafty. All right, because at the end of the day, it's all about that so-called reset, right? And um, the elite bankers want to totally wipe out the middle class. All right, back in Job 5 and 12, he disappoint the devices of the crafty and that he is referring to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, crafty also classified as the nobility, right? So that their hands, meaning might or control, cannot perform their enterprise. Enterprise means what? In the Hebrew, success. Going into the new world order. All right. Let's get Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls all who... He is referring to the crafty, referring to the nobility of Edom. They control this entire system, all right? And he calls all, both small and great, rich and poor. So, according to this scripture, there is no middle class. Again, there is no middle class. Free and bond to receive a fill-in-the-blank in their right hand or in their foreheads. And this is literal. <clears throat> the poll comes amid soaring inflation and gas prices. U.S. gasoline prices hit another record high Monday with Americans paying $4.48 per gallon average for a gallon of regular gasoline. Gas prices has risen about 40 cents in the past month alone. The average price per gallon was $3.04 a year ago a one dollar and forty four cents increase at one forty four our praise to you how Russia the latest inflation data has also shown a significant rises in prices since President Joe Biden took office with price increases outpacing wage gains consumer prices have risen at the fastest rate in decades. The Consumer Price Index for all urban consumers increased 0.3% in April on a seasonally, seasonally adjusted basis after rising 1.2% in March. The Bureau of Labor Statistics says over the last 12 months, the All Items Index increased 8.3% before seasonal adjustment. Biden has defended his work on the economy, pointing to the jobs recovered since the fill-in-the-blank. 
Republicans, though, point to inflation and problems with the labor market as Americans face record high prices at the pump. President Biden is continuing his war on American energy by canceling oil and gas leases in Alaska and the Gulf of Mexico, said Rep. Kevin Brady, Republican, Texas. Working families, hence middle class, are already suffering from Biden's inflation crisis and harmful policies. And all of this is by design. Okay? And Yahweh Bashem al Shai is inspiring the nobility to perform this task. All right? America is in bad times. First Thessalonians 5 and 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, right? Because at this time frame, you have um, a status of so-called normalcy. However, if you deal in this, and if you're dealing in the spirit, you can see that it's not the same compared to five, ten years ago, right? For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come on them. As travail on a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Again, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come on them, as travail on a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Now, if you know anything about a woman, and when she is having labor labor pains, that process has to play out. Okay, there is no reversing that process. There is no halting or terminating that process. No, it has to run its course. Now, travail is very spiritual. Let's check this out in the Greek. Strong's G, 5604, Odin, Odin. All right, um, definition two, intolerable anguish, going into mental and physical pain, and reference to the dire calamities, proceed means what? Before the advent, which means arrival of the Messiah, referring to Yahweh Shai. All right, so the world in general will be in a bad state, evil times, right? Now, imagine America. Let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 1. Remember now your creator, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, in the days of your youth, while the evil days come not. And guess what? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah has initiated the evil days, which means what? Bad times. Nor the years draw near when you shall say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. Verse 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. Who are the keepers of the house? The economists. All right. Uh, um, the term economy means house manager or a management house. Hence the economists. Right. The keepers of the house and the strong men shall bow themselves. Strong men. Referring to a rich man, right? And they will bow themselves, meaning what? They will be humbled as well. And the grinders cease because they are few, no jobs. And those that look out of the windows be darkened, meaning what? No hope. Okay. 
and two-thirds of our people, all right, will suffer in America. And also the non-elect outside of America who are Israelites will suffer as well. Isaiah 30 verse 1, woe to the rebellious children, Israelites, so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans based on the lineage of their fathers, said the Lord Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me. Right, because the counsel of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, is within the Holy Scriptures, being prophesied by his prophets. Right, but not of me, and they cover what they covering, but not of my spirit. Right, and these so called niggas or two thirds within America, all right, their covering is the philosophy of America or a form of philosophy of another nation beginning with Edom. All right, they believe in any and everything outside of the scriptures but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And the totality of sin is what? Death. All right? And ultimately, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, gave them this mindset so he can judge them. Romans 6 and 23, for the wages of sin is death. All right. So if you are employed by sin, you will get paid in full by death. But the gift of the Most High is eternal life through Yahweh Shah Mashiach, our Lord. And that's what we are aiming for. Lord will is predestined. Right. Let's go back. Their walk to go down into Egypt. America is modern day Egypt. Their walk to go down into Egypt, meaning what? These niggas, right? They regulate their lifestyle based on the ideologies of America. Walking in Hebrew is going into a mannerism of life, all right? And have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. And because of this belief system, right? Look at the state they are in. They don't know what's going on. But for us, Isaiah 33 and verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord Yahweh is his treasure. And when you focus on stability in the Hebrew, it goes into fidelity, going into belief, all right? Or another form of fidelity is what? Credit, right? So, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the faith of our times. Right? Our belief system, because of this wisdom and knowledge, we know what's going on. We know what's coming. We are well prepared through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, for giving us this truth. Right? Back into the scripture. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust and the shadow of Egypt your confusion. All right? So we are in bad times, and it's not going to get better, all right? America, as we knew or have known regarding the past 10 years, that shit is over. It's over. And even back in the day, about three years ago, almost three years ago, when CNN reported this so-called, you know what? I read an article which stated that America would never be the same. Lord, will you edify? Shalom.